Tajikistan Adventure, Part 1. Episode, Hunting for Uriel and Wild Boar. The hunt is on. After landing in Dushanbe, the next stop on our journey is a beautiful private hunting ground. This hunt is a very special one for Amon Amon. Our hunter has received an exclusive invitation from a friend. After a warm welcome and a sumptuous meal at the hunting ground, we are very eager to get started and see what experiences are in store for us. The invitation to hunt is for the much sought after Bakara Uriel. Our transport for today is a so-called Can-Am, a vehicle that can move almost effortlessly on snow. On this occasion, the record-breaking hunter is wearing a Kuyu outfit. Everything has been organized to perfection, and the excitement is growing by the minute. From here on, we continue on foot. One of the hunters has been on the lookout for a suitable Uriel since first light. He had a few in sight, but none of the group were suitable. We stalk to a clear position from where we will get an excellent view. The area is breathtaking with a fair amount of snow, but due to the cloudless day, it is already pleasantly warm. As we peer over the cliff edge, we can make out some diurnal wild boar. Our guide tells us that we can try our luck on the wild boar after the Uriel hunt. After about an hour, we decide to climb a little higher in order to scan the slopes there. we catch a glimpse of our first Uriel. This ram, however, is already moving back over the mountain ridge.
The time has come. Our guide has been able to spot some rams. There are some good candidates in this group. Unfortunately, most of them have already moved beyond the ridge. Soon, the ones still lingering will follow. in position, but by now there are only two rams left on our side of the mountain. Due to the fact that our Uriel is already too close to the horizon, our hunter has decided to leave the bullet in the barrel for safety's sake. This means that the stork can continue in this spectacular area. The first ascent in the untouched landscape with its magnificent panorama is again made with a Can-Am. We leave the vehicle well covered behind this ridge and survey the slopes in front of us before we finally move on. We spot an Uriel which might be suitable for a shot at about one and a half kilometers. Now it's a case of being extremely cautious and keeping in cover as best we can to get closer to the ram. Out of nowhere, one of our hunters spots a group of migrating Uriels not far ahead. Instantly, the tension builds. get any closer, so Amon Amon decides to try the shot from here. At the moment, the Uriel is still obscured by branches. With a bit of luck, we might be able to get a clean shot. Now he's coming, now he's coming.
Yes. Yes. With a well-aimed shot, our hunter is able to take the Uriel. The sense of satisfaction is enormous. The beautiful sight of this falcon marks the end of our successful hunt for the Uriel. After a culinary treat, there is now a feast for the eyes as we hunt wild boar. In this case, commentary is superfluous. Just sit back and enjoy the footage that follows to the full. Okay, passt. Hinter drei Frischlingen. Er passt mit drauf. Der untere vordere, der läuft nach rechts, volles Rohr. Er kommt voll nach unten. Ja, er kommt voll. Jetzt, jetzt liegt er, jetzt liegt er. 